Hey y'all, I'm Brad of Brave the Woods. Today I'm gonna to be trying out a new style challenge. Because I have such a hard time deciding on any set style, I love playing around in lots of different styles, and the one that's inspiring me the most right now is sci-fi pulp fiction. Pulp magazines were super cheap magazines known as pulps because they were printed on low quality wood pulp paper. They were popular in the early 1900s and were known for their beautifully decorated graphic covers, even though the inside was cheap and dingy. Folks loved them because the colorful covers stood out on the magazine rack, the stories were enticing, and they were really cheap. The science fiction covers are my favorite because they made space super colorful and fantastical. And because they were made before we actually traveled to space, there was so much imagination used around what was out there. So I wanted to try my hand at this Pulp Fiction style, and naturally I chose to put an astronaut on top of a bucking triceratops in space. Only makes sense, it's gotta be pretty cool, so let me show you how I did it. When I sat down to start sketching, I realized that I was going to need some reference images, but that was going to be kind of difficult because where are you going to find a triceratops bucking an astronaut that's riding on his back? That was going to be kind of tricky. So I found this bull rider riding a bull, and I decided to use that as my pose that I was going to reference. Even with this reference though, it was really tricky getting this triceratops to be in the same pose as that bull because the body mass is completely different and then obviously the head of the Triceratops is way more complex, so I had to kind of hash things out there. After I'm happy with the sketch, I start blocking out my main shapes. This is important because it allows me to use clipping masks so I can add dimension and details later without messing with the main shapes. You'll notice that I still had to solve problems at this point with the basic forms like the astronaut's hand, so I had to sometimes find or even make new reference images. In order to make this feel like a pulp cover, I wanted to make sure that the colors were a variation of the primary colors, since that was pretty common back then. And like so many of the sci-fi covers, the illustrations had super dark shadows and really bright highlights. That contrast along with the bright colors made their depictions of space so cool to me. So the first thing I did was build up the main base color by adjusting the value repeatedly and building up the colors to feel dimensional. Once I did that, I was good to add the darkest shadows and then finally the highlights last. The detail step is the most enjoyable part of all of this. It also is a step where a lot more of my own personal style creeped into the illustration, which is totally fine. This isn't supposed to be an exact replica of a sci-fi pulp cover, but you can definitely see where my inspiration came from. No matter what style I work in, my own style always shows up in some form or another. One random thing I realized that when I was drawing this was anywhere I put that cream color, it always felt like it stood out too much. Like anything that wasn't cream didn't feel completely dimensional. Then I realized I needed to add a little yellow to the shadows because it would be reflecting off the triceratops. Once I did that, all the cream parts settled into the composition better. Once I finished this illustration in Procreate, I actually brought it over to Photoshop because I wanted to do a few other little things to it to make it feel a little bit more tactile and more real, like a pulp cover. So the first thing I did was I added this photocopy texture over the whole illustration. And I set it to linear dodge because I wanted to lighten it but still see the textures in it. If you went down to like darken or multiply like I typically would, 
it just made it way too dark. Even light in her screen didn't show enough of the texture. That linear dodge just worked perfectly. And then I set that down about 68%. After that, I added a couple adjustment layers to the main illustration. So the first one I did is I played around with the levels just a little bit. And you can see that I added, you know, increase that white and that, that black to up the contrast. And then I just added another layer for saturation just to make it slightly more saturated. That's all I did, but if you look at them side by side, you can tell that there's a difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. This style was so much fun to draw in and I'm gonna definitely try doing more of it. But if you guys have other ideas for styles that you'd like to see me tackle in these videos, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys have in terms of ideas that I can maybe do that in a future video. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for future videos and we'll see you next time.